Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a free looks of one palette and today we are going to do it with a Dragon Child palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. It says Makeup Monsters, the, it's their old name. So I'm going to do free looks and a little bit review in the end and if you only want to see maybe a review, it's a short review just so you know. I can leave the timestamps down in the description and I also leave all the looks. Timestamps if you don't want to uh, hear me blabbing now. This is a vegan and a cruelty free brand that is US based. So the palette is a cardboard palette. I like that the most. I hate plastic palettes. It's magnetic. I like that as well. And it contains 12 shades and two glitters. This Lucky and Firefly. The rest of the shadows, the rest of the shadows are matte. So, we are just going to do free looks with this one and I really hope you will like these free looks. I love doing these videos because I think it's so fun. So, I will. I hope you will like these free looks and please tell me which look is your favorite. So, we just hop into the looks because this is going to be a long video. So, it's time for the first look with a Dragon Child from Nausea Cosmetics. The palette looks like this, you've already seen it and I... I'm so excited for this. So I'm going to do my first look today and I am not really completely 100% sure what I want to do but I think I know what I want to do. I have three looks to do so. So, so I'm going to start off with this light green, like this pastel green and it's actually called Dragon Child as the palette. So I'm going to take this on a fluffy brush in my and I have to take a little mirror. And I want this to be pretty high up and all the way in. So like this and then I'm going to take this sleeping dragon and put it with a smaller brush, also in my crease, just to deepen down the crease a little bit and get some dimension. And I hope this will work because these are not the same green. This seems a little bit warmer than the one in my crease, but I think that this is going to work pretty good. And it does, and I just want some dimension to it, so it's not just a bright, flat crease. So like this, and then I'm going to take the same green, the Sleeping Dragons, and I'm going to do a halo eye in this look. Because as you know, I really love my halo eyes right now, and this look... I have done a first impression in this on this palette and in that first impression I was either going to do that look that I did or the look that I'm doing now. So the this was one of the second looks one of the first look I was thinking about when I opened this palette and started to play with it. So something like this and then I'm going to take Firefly, this gold shade, and put it, oh my nose, and put it in the middle of my lid and now I don't have a brush for it, yeah here I am. And I'm going to use some glitter glue today. In my first impression I used the other shimmer shade Lucky and it did work without any glitter glue. But I have to work it so hard. So I'm taking a glitter glue today. Annette said that the easiest way to get this shadow to stick was using your fingers. But I don't like to use my fingers when I'm doing my makeup. Because it doesn't feel like I have control over it. But this worked pretty good.
and this is so intense okay I think I like this I think this will work yes I do so I will do the same thing on this other eye on this other eye on the other eye and then I will be back so I'm going to take away I don't think I have so much fallout okay I am literally down to here so I'm going to take away the fallouts and then I'm going to fix my base and then I will come back and we do the under eyes together and I don't think I'm going to use this gold shade because I did it in my first impression I used the other one and I got glitter in my eye so I think I'm going to use a pen but I'm coming back with full face and then we're going to fix the under eyes exciting so the face is on the hair is out and now we're going to do the under eyes and I will do the same thing as on my eyes because I really on my lids because I really love it so I'm going to take sleeping dragon out here and then I'm going to take a pen for the gold and this is from Linda Halberg it's Ori flash it's a gold one and it's pretty similar to this it's maybe a little bit cooler but it has to do because I don't want any more glitter in my eye so like that and for my waterline I think I want to take this and also a green and have it a gold in the middle and green on the outsides the outside and the inside so this is the finished eye look with no mascara and no lipstick so I will put on some lipsticks and mascara and then I'm finished with the first look so everything is on and for lips I used my Anastasia lipstick in Rosewood so this was the first look with the dragon shell from Nigeria Cosmetics and it's coming two more looks so if you want to see them just keep on watching so it's time for look number two with the dragon shell palette and I will start off with stone drake this purple in my crease And I feel that this shade is so much darker on the eyes compared to the pan and I don't really like that. So something like that and then I will take Virum, Virum, Virum and put it almost on my whole lid think I will and as you see I don't get this because this seems darker than the other one but now it's freaking lighter and I don't take it the whole way in because I'm doing something else on my inner corners so that was Virm and I also want to take this cave dweller and just smoke the outer corner down a little bit take it out here and then I also want to take it in the crease so it just gets a little darker and for my inner corner I will try to take this dragon rider and put it just in here and I will try without any concealer or anything and just put it down here and see what's happening and this actually look pretty cool I think and usually it's not always so easy to put 
like this brighter shade over another shade because this brighter shade will just disappear but I think that this this worked and I am finished with the lids I think so I will take away the fallouts I will fix my base and brows and then I will be back so the <laughs> base and brows are on and it looks like I have no lips so I will do my under eyes and I will take Verm and Dragon Rider and I really hope I don't get fallouts so I will pack the brush and then tap it off and then be really careful. And then I will take the Dragon Rider with a small pencil brush, pack it, tap it, and apply. So the eyeshadows, eyeshadow are on, and I'm going to put on mascara, lipstick, setting spray, and then I will come back the finished look. So this is the finished look and for lips I used Oh Snap, a lipstick from uh, Colourpop. So this is the second look and uh, now you're going to see the third look and then it will come a review and uh, yeah we take it in the review because I have some things to say about this palette. So now you're going to see the third look and then it will come a review. So it's time for look number three with the Dragon Child, and today I'm going to do something a little bit darker than the last look and also the first look. Or at least think I have an idea in my head, but I don't know if it's going to be good or not. But <laughs> we will just hop into the look and see how this turns out. So I've just primed my eyes, and I'm going to take flame tongue, this red one, and put it in my crease, and I think I want to take it in my whole crease. I used this one in my first impression with this palette, if I'm not mistaken. I can leave that up here. And this is such a nice shade. I really, really like it. And if you didn't know, I like reds and orange and yellow. I think orange is my favorite shade of eyeshadow. And then I think yellow and then red. But I like that f family of shades more. I think I also want to take mother dragon this dark one and put it in my crease as well but not in my whole crease and only like out here and just in in the middle of the crease <laughs> I don't want to smudge it out too much so I think the crease is good like this and I will take flame tongue again and put it almost on my entire lid but I will start in here oh, this is such a nice shade I really really love this shade and I want to take it in here but I just want to smudge it to my inner corner and this shade is freaking amazing so something like that and then I will take mother dragon and put it I think just out here So something like that, I don't know how much you can see, but just so it's not only one color on the eyelid. And then I will take Smoke Em Out, this dark shade. I think this is the only shade I haven't used in the palette yet, so... No. I'll just take it and 
very dried out here. I don't know how much this will show up. Maybe a little and then take it in the crease as well. So, something like that for the lids and I will also use a color in here. But I want to fix my under eyes first and then do it because I want it to go like through here and down here. So I will take away the fallout, I will put on my base brows and then we'll fix the last with eyes. So my under eyes and also my inner corner. So face and brows are on and now I'm going to take flame tongue. Flame tongue underneath my eyes. Not the whole way in. I want to tap this off because I don't want any fallouts. And then just out here I want to take smoke and out. Just so it is a little bit the same. So for my inner corners I want to take this Firefly and really have it pew, so much. Uh, I used this in my first look as well. So I really like it, and I think that gold and red are really good together. So I will use my NYX glitter glue on like the tiniest brush I have. I don't know if you can see it, it's so freaking tiny. And put the glitter glue. And I take glitter glue because I, <laughs> in my first impression, I got other glitter shade in my eye and it hurt it a bit. So I really want this glitter just to stick on really good and not have it in my eye. So, and then I'll try with the brush and I will not spray this, so maybe I am living in a dangerous world right now. And I have pegged on so many glitter specks and I will just... Stamp it on. Okay, my eye is clear. <laughs> And I will do the same thing on the other eye and I will smudge this out a little bit when I have fixed it. So I will fix this eye as well and then I will come back because you will, won't see a thing because I need to be so concentrated not to get glitter in my eye or poke my eye with this one. I don't know if I am in focus now but I did survive. I have no glitter in my eyes. I can see so I just smudge it out with a brush that I had the red flame tang on and just smudge out the edges and I will put something in my waterline mascara will go on and also a lippy so the finished look <laughs> the finished look is on the look is finished and for my waterline I took NYX faux blacks I don't know if they still have this this is an ox blood so this is a really dark, it's almost the same as my eyeshadow. I really like this one. And for lips, I took my absolute favorite lipsticks of all time. It's Nabla's Hanging Rock. And I really like this look. I think this is my favorite look for this uh, Free Looks One palette. I am so happy with how this turned out. I love the lipstick, I love the eyes, I love the gold inner corner. So. This was my three looks with the Dragon Child palette. So I am back for the review and I got the second look on because now I'm going to talk a lot. I did the three looks and the second look was not supposed to be this look. I filmed another look. I can see if I can put, on, put in a little video here. And the day I filmed that look, I had a really shitty day, you know, when everything feels wrong, you're feeling ugly, you're feeling like, 
why does anybody want to talk to me and all that jazz and I wasn't satisfy satisfied with that look but I was like it's a bad day it's probably me not the palette and then I started editing the <laughs> video and I was like I I can't put this up this is not a good look and I edited it when I had a better day so I sat down today uh, when I already have done all the looks of course I sat down today and tried to make a new second look and I I have tried so many times so many times I think the first time I <laughs> recorded the second look I think I made it on my third try or something and today when I'm doing the second look again and do a new second look I have like yeah you see here I have start over four times and I so desperately want to love this palette I first started out with my normal eyeshadow by buys it went like shit I can put in videos on that I think I have them all left and I was like this is starting to get old it's maybe the eyeshadow primer so I opened a new one a completely new one eyeshadow primer and it turned out like shit either way it's this look and I am so sad <laughs> about this and this is like my first bad review I'm doing I don't want to bash on this palette and I'm not going to but a lot of people I follow, they love this palette. I also want to love this palette. <sighs> I can't. I'm sorry, but I can't. So what do I think is the problems with this palette? Oh, I feel so bad for doing this. I try to make do my makeup as I usually do when I do this Free Looks 1 palette because what I am doing is always working. I do the same style, I use the same brushes, and it works with 100% of the eyeshadows I own. So I did the same with this palette. So the problem. The problems. Maybe I should say. We can start with the colors I think is good. Um, these two shimmer shades, this Lucky and Firefly, they are good shadows. You need a super sticky base and a brush that can pick up more like a dancer flat I like this brush for this this is the, yeah okay it depends on brush so they are good I have nothing to complain about this myth or legend is good I used it in my monochromatic look with Betty Jean a collab this sleeping dragon is good I used this in my first look this flame tang is good, this smoke em out is good, cave dweller is good, and mother dragon. So the problem shades for me is dragon child, dragon rider, stone drake, and virm. And okay, they are good on the lid. Like this dragon rider I have in my inner corner is good. I tried to have this in my crease, it all went blurry, shitty, grey, boring. I can swatch those four shades for you. So these are the four shades. They seem very vibrant, very... like really good shades. They don't look like this on my eyes. I have tried different blending brushes, I have cleaned my brushes, I have done everything that I possibly could. But I can't make them work in my crease. Like I have this one in my crease today, uh, Stone Drake, and this is darker on my eyes than this. Okay, how the hell? So this one is darker on the eyes than this is. I had this in my crease and this on my lid. It doesn't work for me. It just doesn't. The shadows doesn't work. I want them in my crease um, they don't work in my crease at all they just they get okay now I have shadow everywhere 
they don't work in my crease. They get dark in my crease and they don't are so vibrant in my crease. And it makes me really, really sad. And I don't know if I said this, but people I trust and people I know tell the truth. They love this palette and they seem to love all the shades. But these four shades are so freaking problematic for me. I don't know if it's me or if it's the shadows. But I have I have really tried. <laughs> I've tried so hard. The only thing I haven't tried is to set my base. But um, I usually don't do that and the people I watch they don't set their base either. So I don't know what's wrong with the shades. I don't know if it's me or the shades or what it is but I almost lost my what is it even called I was so freaking angry during this makeup to, to try to put my makeup on and it makes me so sad because I want to love the whole palette um, I love the most of them I love 8 out of 12 shades but it's just like I want to put this in my crease and this on my lid. I did it today, but it. I want this to be bright. I want this to be bright green. It's not. On me, it's not. And I have a fair skin type, so colors usually show up on me as they look, because I have fair skin. These four colors does not. And they are patchy, they are not opaque. It's just a no for me with these four shades and this has been the longest I've talked about the palette like a review but I just want to be honest with you and if you have any tips how I can make this work please let me know because I want this palette to work with all colors for me it's okay if maybe one color doesn't work but four out of twelve does not work and makes me frustrated that is not good so this was my free looks one palette and I am sorry for the negativity, I am sorry for the messiness, like, yeah, I'm sorry. I hope you understand where I want to say, I hope you understand that I am, um, I've tried, I've tried a lot of times, I have never tried so hard with palette before. And if you have any tips how I can fix this, I have tried, okay, the brushes I have tried for my crease, it's, I have tried the blending brushes that I usually use, they did not work, and then I tried this one, this is a bit more pointier, it did not work, I tried this small one, it did not work, they all became patchy, blurry, toned down, and just a big no. Uh, and I don't want to give up on this. And also, like, in a palette, I want to be able to use all the colors everywhere. Maybe not the shimmer ones I don't need to be able to use in my crease, but all the matte shadows, I want to be able to use them in my crease and as for right now, I cannot. And it also bothers me so freaking much that this shade looks lighter on the eye than this one. They may have different undertones, but it just bugs me. So this was my Free Looks One palette. I am, again, sorry for the negativity. I just want to be honest. I want to say what I feel. And I would really love to try this again and try to love this because I think it can be a fantastic palette. Maybe I just have to change how I work with the colors. I don't know. I'm going to stop babble now. I am sorry for a messy video, a negative video, a rambling video and a long video also. So I hope maybe you don't love this video. I hope you like the other two looks that I succeeded with. So yeah, this was my Free Looks One palette. 
with a dragon child from Nadri Cosmetics and I am not giving up on these four shades. I will keep trying and trying and trying. So I hope I see you in the next video. Bye!